Guys, it's happened. Adobe's finally getting serious about listening. This month, After Effects released an update with five major aspects of the software. And please believe me when I say that I saved the very best for last, so watch till the very end of this video. Number one, track mats have been completely revamped. What is a track mat? A track mat is used in a situation where you want to use one layer to determine the visibility of another layer. It looks like this. Now let's look at another example. Let's say you had three shape layers that you wanted to only see through a text layer, like this. Before this new After Effects update, you needed to duplicate the text layer three different times to correspond with every shape layer. Then you had to make sure that each of those text layers were directly on top of each of their corresponding shape layers. I'm serious when I say directly on top. Then you toggle switches and modes, which is a button on the bottom, until you see track mat. You then head over to each shape layer and click on the drop down and click alpha mat and then the name of the text layer above it, in this case Olufemi. Before I move on, I want to make sure that you actually understand the terminology. Each of these Olufemi text layers are serving as track mats. Notice the track mat symbol that you see here next to every text layer. And all of these shape layers are the layers actually being matted. Notice the matted symbol next to every shape layer. Dang, that was a lot of work to do though for such a seemingly simple task. What has After Effects changed in this new update? Now, things have been made a lot simpler. Previously, this matted shape layer one would have only been able to look at the layer directly above it to use as a mat. So if you changed the order of these layers, the track mat effect would cease to work. Now in After Effects 2023, both of these layers can be anywhere in the layer stack. This is gonna be amazing for layer organization. Also, now one single layer can now be the track mat for multiple layers. This is crazy, crazy useful because in this case, it means you no longer need to duplicate the text layer to match the number of shape layers that are in need of matting. All you gotta do now is to use this newly added Pickwick feature in the track mat column to point to a single track mat layer that you wanna use. All right guys, we've made it to number two. The next feature that I wanna cover in this new After Effects update is the fact that you can now color your keyframes. This is great just for the sake of organization. You're able to literally highlight specific areas of specific animations that you can maybe reference for whatever reason later. What you do is you simply right click any keyframe and then click label and then click whatever color you wanna label it as. You also have the ability to select groups of keyframes based on the colors that you have assigned them. All right guys, and now for number three, drum roll please. You can now export native H.264 files in After Effects. It's about time, right? Regardless, this is a huge deal because it means we're no longer gonna have to go through Adobe Encoder or Premiere Pro. And next, After Effects has finally decided to update all of its animation presets after literally years and years of neglect. And Adobe actually asked our channel's team to help them with a bunch of them. Shout out to our channel's content producer, Peter, for basically spearheading this entire project. Number four, Adobe decided to update all of its composition presets after again, years of neglect. This revamped list includes many sizes for new and old social media platforms. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite update that Adobe has done so far in After Effects. Number five, is that they are making Mogarts faster. Have you ever downloaded or even made an After Effects Mogart to be used in Premiere Pro? I have, you have, only to be just so disappointed at how slow the playback was. I know that I haven't been the only one stuck for literally hours rendering heavy Mogarts in Premiere that refuse to play through smoothly. It sucks. It's been so annoying and I've been saying for years that Adobe needs to just drop everything else and just focus on fixing the Mogart issue. Well, it looks like they've actually been listening. And in this new update, it looks like our prayer have finally been answered. According to Adobe, they have extended support of multi-frame rendering in the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro to allow After Effects Mogarts to render two times faster now in the Premiere Pro timeline. This is massive and I hope you're excited as I am. We actually just took advantage of this by releasing a crazy cool Mogart pack that includes 10 digital lens distortion filters that you can use right in Premiere Pro. It's basically the digital version of those physical lens filters that you see all the time being used to create these cool in-camera effects a lot of the time in music videos. Shameless plug, you can get ours for $47 on our website. And we've actually uploaded our pack onto Envato Elements too. So you could literally get this pack as well as like a million other dope packs for only $9 for your first month. So you got two options. Both links are in the description. These new After Effects updates are massive news and all of you should be very, very excited.